Hello and welcome to Exchange for Media. With me today is Mr. Oliver Sanders, Global Head of Addressability, Wavemaker. Uh, welcome, Oliver. This is a very different designation, a very different role that I have ever heard of on, on global level or in India. So, you know, my first, first question to you is if you can explain me a little bit more about, you know, what it means to be Global Head of Addressability. Well, thanks, Nazia. So, um... I suppose what it means is that it is the newest way of sending a specific message to a specific set of audience members at a specific time on a specific device, specific channel. So it's all arranged around relevance at scale and being able to send a message which may or may not resonate with the audiences that we are trying to target as a media agency. And then asking the so what question of those targetings. Did we have success? What did we learn from what we did and what will we do different next time? And it really represents the intersection of media and creative because it is showing a message which may be informed by context or any of the other sort of variables, behavioral, demographic, whatever it may be, um, which really fuses media and creative together. And I know that happened 20 years ago. That's how we used to do it. What's different now is that ultimately we're asking those so what questions, we're applying data science to the findings and we're extracting the truths from what we're doing. So uh, does that mean it is time for the integration of media and creative agencies? No, I don't think so. I think there are specific, I think there are specific specialisms and, and, and core capabilities which will never live in one unified agency. Uh, I think if, if we tried to put an integrated agency together, then you know, there would be other agencies springing up which try to sort of stick to their original guns. It doesn't make sense to me that media can do creative and vice versa. Um, I, instead, we've actually designed a process which brings in our counterparts in the creative space and allows them to do what they do best. Ideation, be that the big idea or be that the trans-creation and iteration of new variants. So is this role a kind of bridge between the two? Is this a bridge between the two? I think this role is a bit of a bridge and it really unlocks the right stakeholders at the right time. It brings together not just media and creative, but also data partners and technology partners in the ad tech space, as well as the client. So everyone needs to be brought together to do the thing they are good at at exactly the right time. It's an orchestration, a choreography of a dance, if you like. How do you plan to bring this to India? Well, the truth is, this is already in India. I would say that of, of Wavemakers community, uh, our India market is probably our most advanced, ambitious uh, and impressive of markets. Um, you, you guys joined the, uh, the Wavemaker Addressable Summit, which we held some three weeks ago, uh, represented by the chief digital officer in, in our India office. And I would say that the work that is being done specifically as it relates to Mondelez and, and what is really core to them of addressability, they call it empathy at scale which is the ability to understand what it is that motivates their customers and to speak to them on that emotional level, you know, that is addressability. And really, our, our India office are doing that better than almost any other market in our whole portfolio. Uh, but, but will we also see a particular designation like this, you know, somebody being given this role in, an Indian, in the Indian ecosystem? Possibly. I would say at Wavemaker, the way we organize things is we have a community of addressable market lead. So the way we organize things at Wavemaker is we have a community of addressable practitioners, uh, some 72 people across different markets that we have. And those people are, respons are responsible for driving the business and unlocking the client opportunities with the local market knowledge that they have. That's one of the strengths of Wavemaker. We're very much a local organization that is organized globally. So we've designed a really strong global proposition to be able to speak to audiences with specific messages and then ask the so what questions. And we distribute that through our local market leads. So I would expect something like that. So we all have come to Cannes after a gap of three years. So just tell us, you know, what it, what it means to you to be back here. It's a good question. I feel it is a signpost for the industry that the traditional institutions that anchored you know the the that anchored the pace of creative and media life they're still there and whilst the world has changed and the way we operate within the world has changed the guiding anchoring principles are still here we still judge work by the same uh, standards that we always did we still assemble as a community you know and we still 
go through the, the sort of machinations of being a creative industry as we always did. So for me, it's a reminder that we're still here and things may have changed, but the traditions live on. Uh, I think your uh, Cadbury ad uh, has been, uh, is one of the entries here at Cannes this year. So I wish you all the best and I hope, you, uh, you know, it, it wins a lot of medals for India and make us proud. Absolutely. Make us the world's most wanted agency. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I mean, I am looking at it more from India perspective. Of course. Know? So thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.